My name is Aishwarya Bharti and and I am Purva Sapate and we are from the river Godavari. So let me start with the presentation topic. Okay, wait, Aishwarya. Okay. Okay. I am pretty sure everybody here loves Maakya Hath ka khana, right? And what happens when you are tired and come home and mom mom has prepared tinde ki sabzi? Oh my God! What do you do that that moment? Obviously, we order food, right? Yes or yes? Yes, right. So. one of the leading uh, uh, food delivery app that is uber eats so we are going to present uh, uh, the present our induction presentation is on uber eats the next slide please uber eats bypassing the established players next slide. so basically why we have chosen this top topic uber eats online food ordering this is something that everybody does today everybody has smartphones and online food ordering has a market of 8 billion dollars today uh, it is very convenient for people to order food uh, it can be at any time of the day or at night you are craving for anything you can have uh, order the food and have it second regular customers me personally and ashwarya are regular customers of uber eats so we prefer that tell us your preferences basically if you see it when you go to the uber eats app uh, according to your search history or your order preferences they tailor your orders like if you order from a certain restaurant they will uh, give you the top list of the restaurants that you order from so those restaurants will be listed first and they will give you the maximum offers so let me take you to the background of uber eats uh, the parent company is uber technologies uh, inc uh, it's basically the american food delivering uh, platform and it was uber eats was basically uh, launched in 2014 in san francisco and it came to india in uh, 2017 so the founders of uber eats are travis uh, kalanick and garrett camp and the head of uber eats in india is bhavesh rathod so let me tell you the revenue of uber uh, global revenue of uber it is uh, 141252 crore inr and uh, uber eats contributed uh, 1937 crore inr revenue to uh, financial year 2018 next next slide. So let me take you through the key features of Uber Eats. There is a concept called Pocket Eats. So Ashwarya, uh, if you are craving to have something, like let's take an example of butter chicken, and you are alone at home, and you cannot finish finish the whole quantity. Either it is wasted, or you have to eat it for two three days. Yes, obviously, so, yeah. So in that situation, what do you do? Uh, Uber Eats has introduced a concept called Pocket Eats. That is, they provide you a single portion. That if one person is going to have the food, they will give you a uh, let's say one portion of butter chicken with two parathas that is sufficient for one person so it is very, uh, low in cost as well as it gets finished and you don't have to waste the food second is discounts and offers uber eats is very famous the for the discounts and offers they provide to the people uh, then is wide area coverage they uh, they are spread they have, their network is spread out to very large for my personal example uh, everybody is everybody knows the good luck cafe that is very famous and i stay 11 kilometers from good luck cafe so they provide delivery from good luck cafe that is on fc road till khadakwasla the where there that is where i stay whereas the other competitors they don't have such wide area coverage then the delivery time they have a promise of delivering the food within the 30 minutes so basically they cover that 11 kilometers distance in 30 minutes then native ads this is the new concept we can as we know that uber eats is spread out in 37 cities that are in the various states of india so native ads is basically uh, each state or each city has their own local food so to popularize that food they have come up with this idea that is native ads they are in the pre, uh, specific languages and they promote their uh, local food or the if you go to the south they have rasam so they promote that uh, from whichever restaurants they can serve them then the strategic partnerships they have tie ups with various famous restaurant chains that like mcdonalds uh, cafe cafe day then starbucks and if you order from these restaurants you get maximum discounts because they are large in number as well as they give you large discounts 
okay so when we are all in business we do have competitors so in india uber eats have major competitors like swiggy zomato and food panda so as per the survey by red sir uh, the fli that is uh, food tech uh, leadership index uh, basically let me tell you what is food tech leadership uh, leadership index uh, it is like uh, they compare they take a uh, okay they take uh, like players uh, players they take the players and they uh, individually uh, go through their performances and then they compare and by that survey we can see that uh, uber eats within 2 years in india have covered a lot of market a lot of market so this is the survey by red sir and uh, uber eats also takes social initiatives like they have tied up with uh, movo social initiative foundation for in which they uh, train females like 150 females and transgenders are trained to drive and uh, so that they can be the uh, uber eat uh, partners delivery partners so and uh, like uh, we know that equally equality is now the main trend so they have taken initiative for that so next slide please insurance of the delivery partners as you know your food is being delivered by the people it is very necessary to have their insurance so uber eats has taken an initiative and insured the lives of all the delivery partners they have across 37 cities in india they have tied up with tata aig and they provide insurance up to 5 lakh rupees next so taking you to the conclusion uh, before that i would like to show you some small video to sum up तू सच में आ गई तू क्या नेहा की बॉडी छोड़ कर आ रही हो स्टार्विंग डिनर में क्या है पता नहीं वो टिंडा 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 मैं आपको चल रही हूं आह आह वो ये टिंडा मोमेंट्स वो क्या ऑर्डर करें क्या वो इज योर फेवरेट फूड इन द वर्ल्ड taking you to the conclusion uh yes uber eats is not conquered the highs that it it is supposed to like we have competitors like zomato and swiggy but in a short span of time they're trying to cope up with the uh, market that it is available also in it in a very short span that is just 2 years they are in a very tough competition with the existing uh, uh, existing players in the market so uh, as like uh, global head of uh, uber has said in like it has doubled the market in india they have reached globally very soon but yes they have doubled market in india very soon so if this growth continues uber will definitely be bypassing all the uh, competitors in this indian market so thank you thank you